All right, it's uh, Saturday morning here, the beginning of May 2021, out and back to south side of the creek here in Bightley, Michigan. Just me and the Max. Brought the pit bull this time. Look at it. Absolutely wonderful. Got good weather out here. Looking at, oh, I don't know, just about 50 degrees. We could be in for some off and on rain this afternoon, but that's okay. We're probably going to set up over in this area. We brought the uh, MSR Elixir 3 man. It's enough room for me in the pit bull. String a couple tarps, set up a fire. Gonna cook up some steaks later. I'm not even in a frame. Now I am. Okay, so this is good. But uh, probably go down the trail here again. Woo. That way. Nicholas and I took that uh, last time we were out here. Good spot. Nice walk. Got the creek out this way. You can kind of make it out over there. Not bad. Anyway, going to go ahead and uh, cut this off and get back to uh, getting the regular gig going here.
scratch the bed. Set up over here. My goodness.
cast off there, baggers. So that they will go for a walk, huh? We'll go for a walk. Okay, camp is mostly set up here. Again, we're doing the MSR Elixir 3P. For me and the mags, I got some water. Got her set up on a run line here. Pretty nice. I'm not 100% happy with the way this tarp got hung, but I don't care. It's an overnighter. We're not going to be here long. Extra tarp there hanging if we need it. Um, get this fire pit dug out a little bit clean it up and uh, I think maybe we're gonna take a, a trek down this trail over here show mags the other end of the, the creek and uh, probably come back make some lunch or maybe just do up a little steaks I don't know I should play with the slingshot throw some knives who knows oh good super nice super oh she's crying she doesn't know why she's crying. Why are you crying, Max? Here. Why, why, why are you crying? Okay. Giant pit bull head. She's a good girl. She's a good. Here, you want to get out here? Here, sit down. Sit. Sit. Can you sit? You're not listening. You're not listening. You got, you got no pit bull stubbornness in you at all. Can you sit down? Sit. Sit. There you go. Okay, or just lay down. Let's get you right here. Right here. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. All right, me and Mags now. Heading out on the great quest for birch bark. Not that there's not enough natural tinder around here, but I know there's some back here in the lowlands and you can just stock a little bit for a minute. No big deal. Excuse to get out and actually hit this trail. It's pretty nice. Oh, look at this. That's quite the down piece right there, huh, oh, Megs? Whoops. Dang! All right, come on. That's a good girl.
Wop hands. Whoa! She's good, but she's not, uh, we're not going to trust her without a leash. We've got the whistle system on her collar, but I don't feel like tracking a pit bull through the swamp. Done that before, not fun. Not this one. The other ones. Now there's some birds, but man, that's super rot. Let me find something a little better than that. There's a bunch down over there. She's stopping. Look at that, doing the dog thing. Come on, Mags. Maggers. She's good though. She's definitely good. Oh. Hey dirt, the mother load. Look at this. Oh, that's a, that is quite, quite the birch tree right there. Probably on its last year, so look at that one down there. Hold on, Mags, let's do a little collection here. All right, be back. All right, the birch has been harvested. The pit bull and I are heading back down the trail. Too bad. Beautiful. Come on, Max. You guys are gonna get sticking me going. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Let's go, Max. <laughs> She's quite the character. This is just a great little floodplain right there. It looks super cool. Oh, I'm gonna get pulled around by the dog. Drops maybe 15 feet higher out this way. Wow, ancient, ancient pine right here. This thing is a beast. This thing is a monster. That wood, that wood there. I'm sure. This is pretty nice. This trail's not as established as it could be, that's for sure. Some more birch. Look at it. Camp paradise out here. You have this trail, but I doubt it is uh, very frequently utilized. There's a mark right there. Come on, Max. Spin move. I'd say the chances of us seeing anything out here as far as wildlife are approximately zero. Approximately, since uh, I'm shouting, come on, Mags, every 35 seconds. Usually not too conducive to, uh, you know, wildlife spotting here. Come on. A little mark on that tree. 
little trail mark. Some broken branches here. That might have been me or Bob or maybe the last people that walked through here, I don't know. You try to leave no trace, but the reality is if you're there, you're you're marking somehow. Just the way it goes. I think rather than being fanatical about that stuff, it'd be better to be more reasonable about it. Hey, do the best you can. Make extra efforts. Take more trash out than you leave. Simple. Doesn't have to be more complicated than that. I think most people understand that, can appreciate being outdoors and wanting to be as natural as possible, but still, you know, trails marked, pathways clear. A little less clear through here. Especially as this new stuff comes up. Whoa. You get down to the creek a little bit over here. Yep. Um, we have made it, Mags. Made it to the end of the creek here. Well, the end of the trail. Another spin move. Well, she wants to go down. Going down to the creek edge. Now, this would be awesome if there was trout jumping out of this creek right here, but not seeing it. Definitely not seeing it. Last time we were here, we got that. We have the photos of the the tree growing out of the tree. So right here, I'll have to zoom in on it. You got a stump that has long been just taken over by the, the stream. And in that, you have a new pine growing right out of it. And that pine has got to be, I don't know, or cedar. It might be a little cedar tree. It's hard to tell from here. Yeah, it's a cedar. But I don't know, a few years old, kind of neat. Kind of neat. Parent tree. Kind of cool. Alright. Let's see what time it is real quick. It is... Let's see. Oh, let's, pa oh, let's pause that music so YouTube doesn't go bonkers. It is what? It, hold on. i got to pause it. 12.07, Saturday, May 1. It's just gorgeous out here right now. Chilling out here with the pity. Right there. She's in super chill mode. She was just totally passed out. To get me in the pit bull. Right. Super, super chilled. She likes to chill. She's a she's a chillable. Chillable! Say hello. Tell your fans how chilled you are. Not really warming up a whole lot. It's panning around. Not bad. Super relaxing. It's like the perfect time just to, you know, just to hang out, sit down, enjoy a beer, listen to the wind. 
pretty good stuff. I can get a fire going in a bit. I think we're just going to go right to the steaks. I think that's what it's going to have to be. I kind of think it looks like it's going to rain though a little bit. Look at out here. Look at those clouds. Look at that sky. Pretty overcast. Definitely the humidity feels like it's it's ticking up here. They said about a 25%. 30, 35% chance, depending on the hour throughout the day. Accu weather, you know. Believe them? I don't know. They're usually pretty decent, but it's the weather, right? It's all good. Any new gear out today? First time I'm using this line with the dog. With the uh, extend a leash out here. They always make me just a little nervous, right? Anything that's not a solid band with a 90 pound pit bull, you wonder, <laughs> it better hold up, it better not release. Of course, we made our way down to the end of the creek there. She did good, walk was good, but even with, I don't know what I got on there, a 25 foot line or whatever, but I probably gave her 15, 20 feet. And of course she finds swamp. So she has swamp foot, at least two of them, before I could reel her in. Dr. Evil style got me a marlin, that kind of a thing. So got her out of the, the, the swamp. Pit bulls and swamps, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a natural combination. But I think I might break the slingshot out here, set one of these uh, beer cans up and practice some shooting. Pretty fun. I even brought the throwing knives this time. Think about bushcrafting a target. You got some, uh, you got some dead stuff over here. Shouldn't be too hard to split. Although I got a piece of dead standing pine to the east here, about a foot and a half in diameter. I might just use that. No harm, no foul. I don't believe. I mean, I might kill a bug, but again, there's limits. Is reasonable. All right, catch you guys in a bit. Using the little fire scraper here, striker. There we go. Not perfect, but that's okay. That's okay. Pretty easy. Gotta love that stuff. Just, just absolutely amazing. So simple. So workable. Really need Tonio out here. Get the twigs going.
should be no issue at all. This pit's getting moved a little closer than it was last time, a little closer to this uh, ridge line. We didn't set one up last time Nicholas and I were out here. But because we're thinking about foul weather today, we set one up. And that's just that. Yep, I just missed it. I tossed a little nugget of pepperoni stick over to the mags and she was so passed out, she didn't even move. But just as I got the camera ready, shut off the music, roll tape, bam, she gets up. Now she's like, hey, where's my snack? She's crazy. Got pretty windy letting this, uh, managing this fire, putting it out. Um, you went so far, you went and a little water on it. Getting pretty windy out here. A little more than I expected. But we'll see how it goes. All right, the wind had has died down so back to actually being able to continue on with my camp fires going again steaks are on water is boiling and some coffee or maybe even get rebellious and go with some hot cocoa I know, it's crazy yeah, it was really overcast and then it got perfectly blue sky and now we just got this mix we got some some gray matter rolling in over there. Sunset looks nice. Mags is chilling. She's in super chill mode. Super chill. The pit bull is in super chill mode. A little bit of water. I brought about three gallons of water, not knowing with the dog how much she would really need. But I'm gonna get these steaks off and see if we can't start chowing. Alrighty, Sunday morning, about 7:30. Sun's coming up. Birds are going birdie. Raining, it's raining right now. But it's nothing crazy, but uh, came down off and on last night. I'm glad I tarped this up. Um, even though it was it was very difficult in the wind gust yesterday, still worth the effort. Tent's dry. You can wrap that up. I don't have to worry about it. I have two tarps to to dry out. No big deal. I don't usually take those in. They just stay in the basement or in the garage that is anyway, so. But uh, worked out pretty well. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Fed the pit bull. She doesn't appear to wanna eat. I think she wants to go back to bed. She likes to sleep. She's a sleeper. But very, very pretty morning. All right. That's about it.